Have you decided, you sir, whether to go to Saudi Arabia? No, not yet. It happens to be a larger meeting taking place in Saudi Arabia. That's the reason I'm going. So let's get to work. And I'm now supposed to hush up and sit down, and we're going to have a conversation. Is that right? Yes, Mr. President. We haven't been able to communicate it in a way that is... Uh, um, let me say another way. Localities should be spending the money that he has allocated uh, to invest in police departments and training of police officers. It appears as though uh, the president did have a slight trip there. Wow, that man is our president right now. Joe Biden hinting at a 2024 re-election bid. Advisors to the president have reportedly been studying on a spring 23 re-election announcement, one that would mirror the timetable of former President Barack Obama. But Democrats have flooded 2024 battleground states with millions of dollars, folks. They're building up their operations in advance of the next presidential campaign. This man is struggling uh, every day, just to, just to stay into office, I and mean, maybe instead to of have think, a complete blooper clip there. Exactly, and that's the problem. Is, is maybe you should think about the here and now. The fact that they're trying to figure out how to put double digits up on gas pumps mm -hmm. and and walk up the flight of stairs to Air Force One instead of thinking about 2024. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, is, it is actually unbelievable. On that note, let's welcome in our weekend panel. Joining me now, former associate political director in the Reagan White House and a columnist for the American Spectator, Jeffrey Lord himself, and commentator, uh, commentary editor at the Washington Times, special assistant to President Trump, and Newsmax contributor Kelly Sadler. Welcome to both of you. All right, Biden, he's running for re-election, Jeff. Uh, do you think he should probably just start focusing on the here and now and maybe even the midterms? Yeah, absolutely. You know, watching the clips that you were showing, particularly with the bicycle right. clip, uh, I am old enough to remember the presidency of one Gerald Ford. And he had a problem, just like Joe Biden. He, he would fall going down the steps of Air Force One, et cetera. Well, this became, in the world of media, a metaphor for the Ford presidency. And on Saturday Night Live, Chevy Chase would play Gerald Ford, and every time he entered, he would trip over something and fall flat on his face. Uh, this did not work well to Ford's advantage, and of course, he wound up losing re-election to Jimmy Carter. Right. Uh, when, when you are in this kind of situation, stop. <laughs> yeah. Stop, stop, stop. But I'm afraid for, for Joe Biden, it's already too late. Yeah. I mean, I have a feeling he's not stopping right now. And like Carl said, should there be a focus on midterms, especially with the changing in seats that we're seeing? Mm -hmm. Kelly, I mean, where are the administration's priorities? Well, Joe Biden should stop bicycling, period. <laughs> it just Walking, looks weak. Biking. It looks it just you know, I, I you know, I'm I'm old enough to remember uh, the last president who had held water with both of his hands yeah. was called mentally unfit. Mm -hmm. And the 25th Amendment was used and brought upon him. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the mainstream media covers his multiple gas that just looked really, really weak yesterday. That's a but, good point. But, media took that by storm when you had that right. clip of former President Donald Trump's handshakings <laughs> while drinking that water. Yeah, that yes, was. And, Go ahead, walking down the ramp at walking down the ramp at West Point, I believe the New York Times had a cover story. Is the president well? Um, right. Just because he was holding on, you know, he was he was walking carefully. Walk, uh, where walking the carefully Times, on a wet yes. ramp downhill. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I mean, I got my New York Times today, but there wasn't any mention of it. Uh, in the paper this morning, uh, that's, not, that's not a surprise. All right, so, but, uh, Jeff, <laughs> you know, Biden's speech, uh, the, the, the problem is every speech he gives, mm -hmm. he either insinuates that he's being told to do something. You're the president of the United States, the leader of the free world. You do whatever you want, when you want. I mean, look, Donald Trump would have two-hour impromptu press conferences. He would say what he wanted, when he wanted. Most of the time, I loved it. Sometimes I was like, okay, just get on the plane. However, at the... He he was the, the owner of the narrative. I feel like Biden's out there shaking hands with nobody, trying to you know, maintain this illusion. I don't think he understands, does he, about how bad off he is? No, I don't, I don't think he does. And, you know, I mean, this is a sad thing to, to see and to say. And, and I, I can only say on a personal level, having taken care of my late mom uh, as she very slowly <laughs> descended into dementia, you, you, you watch this and uh, you just think, you, you know, it's not like a sudden drop off the cliff. It's a very gradual glide and, and they don't know what's going on. They, they're, they're unaware of where they are. They're unaware of who they're talking to, et cetera. 
and you just watch Joe Biden and he is confused. He he gets confused and this leads to the, well, I'll just do what they tell me and all of this kind of thing. I mean, this is bad. And, you know, it's bad enough in a political sense here in the country. But you, you realize here that uh, Vladimir Putin is watching this, yeah. that the, the leaders of China and Iran and North Korea are all watching this and making their judgments on how to deal with America yeah. based on what they're seeing. And that is dangerous. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good point there. These other world leaders are seeing this. And, you know, everyone makes mistakes when talking. I've made mistakes, but it is when you see this. Hashtag me too. Yeah, the stream <laughs> of sentences, so though. It's not one word. It's not two words. Right. It seems to go on for what feels like way too long when you're watching yeah. these videos. But Kelly, going off of what Jeffrey just said, other world leaders are seeing this. What are they going to think of our president when they're seeing videos like this circulate? Well, I mean, they think that he's weak. And we're seeing the ramifications of this uh, happening on the global stage. Look at Russia invading Ukraine. Um, you have China acting up and potentially invading Taiwan. You've got North Korea that's launching ballistic missiles. You've got Iran that's running towards a you know, nuclear bomb. This is what you see um, on the world stage when you have a weak uh, president of the United States, and that's what we have in Joe Biden. Yeah, and, and, but the, the problem, too, is the staff. They're just trying to craft this narrative any way they can. I, I mean, mm -hmm. you've seen Jean-Pierre, who, by the way, like Jen Psaki, I, I, at least she was like media savvy enough to kind of spin things. I mean, look, she was not working with much. But Jean-Pierre will literally say the opposite of reality and the op sometimes the opposite of what the administration is actually driving at here. When you, when you see Kamala Harris, of all people, going out there trying to further craft a narrative that is total garbage, now they put her in charge of the disinformation part. I mean, Jeff, do you think on some level that the Biden administration, the seniors in the Biden administration are like, let's set her up to fail so she can't run in 24? Well, you know, actually, Carl, that wouldn't totally surprise me. Uh, you know, I'm of the belief that there's people behind the scenes running this presidency and it's not Joe Biden. But I don't think one of them is Kamala Harris. I mean, I think she's on the outs with the inside Biden crowd. Uh, and that may start with uh, Jill Biden. That may start with the chief of staff whatever. But uh, I've seen how this kind of game can work with presidents and vice presidents. And this is not good. I don't think she's on the inside here. And they're trying to find things to do. It would not <laughs> surprise me in the least if they're doing things that no is going to set her up. It's like that show Veep. Have you ever seen that? No. that I mean, you it, have it, to explain it, this one it here. It is so <laughs> funny. If you have not seen this show Veep, you should watch it. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of our vice president here, listen to what she said. We will work together and continue to work together <laughs> to address these issues, to tackle these challenges, and to work together as we continue to work operating from the new norms, rules, and agreements that we will convene to work together on to galvanize global action. With that, I thank you all. This is a matter of urgent priority for all of us, and I know we will work on this together. Now, this is a part of her speech from about a month ago here, but as you can see, both the vice president and the president seem to have some difficulties when they're delivering speeches. Uh, Kamala Harris isn't laughing at something like that. Kelly, what's your response to our uh, vice president? I, I mean, wasn't she reading off of prepared remarks? Yes. It, it just, uh, that's the, that's <laughs> even more troubling, right? Like somebody wrote those remarks and In it cram. was like the first time, yes, and it was the first <laughs> time she was reading them. Um, Kamala Harris has got a big problem. Her her, her approval ratings are actually lower than Joe yeah. Biden's, and low in Joe Biden's is sitting at 39 percent approval rating. So uh, things don't look good for the Democratic Party. They don't seem to have much of a bench moving forward in 2024. And when you have articles coming out like they came out last week from mm -hmm. the New York Times, from CNN, questioning whether or not Joe Biden should run in 2024 and bringing up a list of candidates to vet for a potential nomination, uh, he's got his his presidency has got some serious problems. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't seem like our vice president is at the top of that list either. Mm, no. no. Sorry.